hi everybody, Wendy here. Let me just get comfortable. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, um, this is going to be my first make for 2016. Now, I've had this box for a while now, and I got it from Fiona at um, Jennings Crafts Boutique. Um, so, I'm going to make, decorate this box um, using some of the laces and products I got from Fiona and also some from my stash. Um, I'm going to use, I think, this paper, and it's from Craft and You Design. Okay, it's in lots of sort of green and pinks and cream. Okay, I'm going to use these two, I think. And I think I'm going to use this um, acrylic paint, Artiste acrylic paint. Now this is in the colour Latte, which is like a very sort of, it's not, Although it sounds like it's coffee coloured, it's not. It's sort of like a very cr antique cream, which I think is going to go lovely with this uh, paper. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to um, paint the box and um, probably not all over. On the, probably just on the edges because um, I'm going to put some paper on the top and the sides. So what I'll do is I'll come back when I've um, just painted all the edges, okay? Rather than you sitting there boring watching me um, paint the box. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. So I'm back again and I've painted, not that you would really notice, but I've painted, you can just about see the uh, just around the outside. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use this paper here and it's got a picture of like a chair. So it might be the case that when I've, um, so I'm just going to, just going to make a mark there and sort there as to my first cut. So, anyway, um, I haven't really had the best start to my 2016. Um, yes, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, some of you guys might have who've seen my makeup videos and that might have seen my little doggy Amber in the background um, or heard her. Um, right, so that's the top, the top. Um, for the side. I'm going to. This is going to be, be a bit hit and miss, but I'm going to. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I've. Day before yesterday, she was a little bit, um, I don't know, well ever since the, the weekend I should say actually, she's been a little bit of a, in a funny mood, like a bit more snappy and barking at everything, more so than what she normally does, um, And uh, but I didn't really think much of it, and then yesterday she, um, no, not yesterday, day before yesterday, she, um, 
she sort of got up and uh, sort of seemed to fall over like she'd sort of hop, her bottom half of her body had sort of she sort of lost the use of her legs and she was not f I didn't look I don't know I suppose it was a bit like a sort of a fit and and uh but um she seemed to, and then then she pooed and peed so I thought so I thought well it might but much maybe she had a temperature or whatever and she wasn't feeling very well because we've all had colds or whatever in in the house and I don't know where the dog cat cat dog dogs catch human I don't really know but um anyway but she seemed to recover and was fine so I sort of kept an eye on her um this happened about I don't know about 10 ish and then about 12 o'clock um she seemed fine but you no know, she was and then so I went to sleep and she went to sleep or, or and then about 12 o'clock no about Three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and um, wanted to get the loo, which I pretty much always get up in the middle of the night to get the toilet. Um, and normally she'll get up and either follow me, or if she doesn't follow me, she'll she just she puts her head up and either walks just to the door or sticks. She makes some sort of movement. So when I came back in after going to talk, uh, she hadn't moved, and I thought, oh, that's strange. Um, so I went over to her bed, because she sleeps in my bedroom, I went over to her in a bed, and normally if I go over to her in a bed, she would, and she's, she normally sleeps on her side, she would put her head up. Well, she didn't, she didn't move. So I thought, oh, so I I touched her, and she, she again, she didn't move, and I thought, oh, God. So then I sort of lifted her paw and dropped it again, and she was... I'm sorry to say, to be graphic, that she'd already died. She'd passed away in her sleep. Um, oh, it was horrendous. Um, as we all were. Right, okay, so I'm just going to... Um, uh, right, because this is curved, I'm having to wing about how I'm going to uh, cut this to do the front, the sides. Okay. So I'm just going to mark, put that little mark there. Yeah, so it's not been a nice couple of days. So we had her cremated and we picked her back up yesterday. What was it yesterday? I didn't, um, yeah, yesterday because it was the day before or the night before. So, so we had her cremated and then picked her up and we're going to scatter her ashes or bury her ashes I'm not sure what my son wants to do um, or, what, or what, we're, what we're going to do right okay so I've right so that's the same width as that so I just need to mark um, And then I use that as a template to do the other side. Uh, so, yeah, that was a bit of a shock. Yes, it wasn't very nice. Okay. So I've, this is, I've cut that in a square, but I'm going to use um, a distressing tool to, or a, um, a file to file off the edges so, I, so they'll be rounded. Okay. Now... For this piece here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece to cut off the bit for the, for the back. I'll cut all the piece, pieces first and then I can um, sort of do it all in one go then. Yeah, so it's not been... Oh, I didn't really feel like making anything but I'd made a promise that I would you know, start doing crafty videos again and I didn't want to not do it. Okay, so this is the same width I think pretty much. Um, so I'm going to 
need to do is hold it there. And, uh, so I'm just holding it there and I'm going to just wrap it and mark it. So all I've done is stuck this sort of in where there. I'm just going to trim a little bit off. Yeah, so I kept my 12-year-old home from school at Toby. I kept him home because he was he was sobbing, bless him. Um, and I didn't I didn't have the art to send him to school. I just wanted him home. So you know what I mean. We could all sort of like grieve in peace I said, together, I suppose. I didn't have the art to send him to school. You know, sort of just finding out in the morning and then just sending him off to school. It just wasn't. It wasn't a good thing to do to send him off to school. So we had a duvet day. Me and Toes, we did. Still wet in places. I don't know, that must be in the corner. Um, and then I'll, I'll cut the same. I'll use this as the template for the other side as well. So, wait, where's my. There it is. So, yeah. Why is it um, whenever something like that happens, people always say to you, Oh, you're going to go on, you're going to get another dog? I'm thinking, hang on a minute, I've only just bloody, you know, could you just. <laughs> the one I got. I just need to, can I use this then? I might use this for the other side. Yeah, they just, they all, you know, like I'm not going to run out and give me get another one straight away. I'm not, well, I'm not going to get another one now anyway. So I'm definitely not going to go out and uh, get another dog. Hmm. But, um, I just think it's funny when people sort of like automatically think, oh, you know, I'm going to sort of run out and get another dog off straight away. Oh no, actually. <laughs> but hey. Normally it's from people who are not like doggy people or pet people. Oops. Alright, so that should be equal. Right, okay, so that's sides, front and back. Sides and front and back. Okay, so I'm gonna move that up there. And I'm gonna just add some glue. Just gonna go out a bit. Just add some glue to the back of this. Oh, that was empty. Yes, so so with a bit of luck, um, a bit of luck, a bit of whatever, I don't know, it doesn't get any worse. 
uh, leading up to Christmas, my dishwasher burst, so I had to get a new, well, I got I had to get a complete new dishwasher, luckily it was still under warranty, so um, I didn't have to pay for a new one, they sent me a new one, they replaced the one I had, because they couldn't fix it, and now my um, washing machines are playing up, it's, um, Just make sure you get this glue. I'm just using colour glue. Just make sure you get this glue right to the edge of your um, paper. You don't want any bits coming up. So I'm then just I'm just going to slide that in there. And I'm not worried about distressing it before I get on there because um, I'm going to use a nail file to um, so I'm just pushing that, bending these edges that are curved. Okay, and then all I've got is a very sharp emery board very strong emery board and all you need to do is let's go there you go perfect corner perfect In there, the little bit. If you can't get to that bit, don't worry about it. Just um, take a smaller emery board. This is quite a small board. I need a thinner one. But it'll do for now. I can always get in there afterwards. Yeah, don't do what I just did, which was go like that, because it will lift your paper. See? Just do it again. <laughs> and you want to make sure that all the paper's stuck around the edge. If it's not, just add a just a bit of glue. And then you just do the same to the other side. Perfect. I took the, um, I forgot to mention, I took the uh, fixings and then that off the, the lid. Um, I might either put different ones on or it just makes it look better finished if rather than having patches of paper trying to fit the um, paper around the outside of the, the um, oh, what do you call them? <coughs> These things, you know, the You know the uh, the latches that go for the for the lid. Ugh, I've got brain freeze. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put some glue and then do the same thing and just add that to. a bit bigger because um because I will use a bit of uh I, I used to just the same do the same thing with the sandpaper anyway. So just make sure it 
fit this properly. sure it goes all the way to the edge. Doesn't matter if it seeps out, this glue's good. It just uh, if you just rub it, it just goes up into a little ball and um, there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is tuck the paper right in. making sure that all the oh. sides are stuck down. My poor 19 year olds just came into me. Ah. Oh, squeaky, squeaky chair. Um, he got up earlier. Um, or oh, he moved at an awkward angle and now he's pulled, trapped a nerve in his um, shoulder blades and I so feel for him because I've done that so many times um, but yeah so I've just been putting some um, my and um, I've already given him a I can't do it very hard anyway because of my fingers but I did it with my knuckles and my palm and my hand and sprayed some um, deep massage onto his, uh, in between his shoulder blades and on his neck because he's sort of walking with his head to the side because he can't hold this, it's just really hurting him. So uh, I do feel for him, bless him, because it's very uncomfortable, I know, very uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm just adding this to what is my lid, to my box. Make sure it's the glue's spread outwards. I don't worry if it seeps out. We just want to make sure that all the edges are stuck down. Oops. Same thing that I did with the sides just to get a nice finish to the edge. Okay. So I will come back when I have done that. Alright, okay, so I've covered the lid. I've put some in the inside of the lid and I've done the box. Okay, um, for the inside of this, I'm going to add some uh, cream satin, just glue it in the line, but I should do that in new. Um, I've got, I did buy myself a new glue gun before Christmas. Um, my son gave me for my birthday, but I bought it way back in October. But I don't know what I've done with it. Um, yeah. So I'll have to use my trusty old one for the moment. 
Okay, so for the lid, what I'm going to do, um, now I haven't, I'm not going to bother cutting up paper to add to this bit here because it's too fin pernickety for me and I can't be bothered. So I've got some of this um, trim and this is from Fiona's store and that's Jennings Crafts Boutique and you need to go and check it out at the moment. She's got some stunning, stunning laces in there. So what I'm going to do, the longer one, I'm going to add to, yes, let's get this right, to the bottom of the ridge here. Okay, well, all the way around. So I'm going to add that all the way around. And I'm going to double layer it, and this one I'm going to add to the rim here. So I get a ruffled effect. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm just waiting for my trusty glue gun to heat up. Okay, so this is going to be fun because uh, obviously it goes in. Just untangle it. Okay, so hopefully I can do this so you can see what I'm doing. Um, that's the front and that's the back. So I'm going to start with um, in the rim because that way you're less likely to see the join. I just need my scissors just to poke the trim in. Okay, so just going to add some glue. This is going to be a little bit fiddly, but we'll manage. We will manage. Once it's stuck, all I need to do then is add some glue and pull it. And it will be easier to do. So, just add some glue. Vintagey looking. Okay, so I'm going to add some of this 
bead trim. I'm going to add it onto the top rather than on the side because I don't want it bulking out too much on the side. So I'm just going to add this along the top of where I've added the, that lace. So So, yeah, there's a lot going on in 2016 for me. Um, my um, 23 year old is 24 in um, July, is getting married in November. So, that's going to be very exciting. Um, so yeah, so they're busy organising and sorting well, out what they want and the sort of wedding they want, which is a very t traditional. To Actually, to be fair, he would be quite happy to turn up in a pair of jeans and, you know what I mean? But I'm sure he says that now, but I think on the day, um, you know, he'll, live, he'll think it was all worth it. I hope he will anyway. <laughs> So, so I would be a bit disappointed if he uh, turned up in his jeans. <laughs> but anyway, but um, his girlfriend wants a very traditional wedding. So yeah, so that's quite nice. So and then so that's in November, um, beginning of October. It all seems to be happening the latter end of the year. So in the beginning of October, I'm going to Scotland. And I'm going to be going and meeting um, Fiona, Fiona Jennings, um, with her pal and a long time friend Julie. Um, it's their 40th anniversary, um, so they're going. They're going up there first because obviously it's, it's their anniversary. So they're going to, you know, have some quality time together for their anniversary. And then me, Cindy, and um, um, oh, sorry, um, I can't think how to pronounce her name, but anyway, one of other, another one of, um, I do apologise if I've, but it's my fibro brain and I can't pronounce the name, um, I can never, always get it wrong and I don't want to offend her by getting it wrong. Um, yeah, so we're all um, meeting up. Um, they're all flying and I'm flying from where I am. It takes just as long to go from where I am in to Scotland by plane as it does for them to fly from is it the Netherlands or Denmark or where where they're coming from. So yeah, so that should be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. So, and then the end of October, I'm going on a crafty weekend with some other girls that I've been with before. Um, um, yeah, to Ludlow, which is in the West Midlands, um, to a beautiful place. Um, if I won the lottery, I would buy this place. It is stunning. It's so nice. Okay, so. That's the top. Okay. Now I'm not too worried about the closure and all this lot at the moment. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna, um, but I've left uh, some room there anyway to add any sort of uh, sort any closure out. So that's the top. Uh, that's the back, and this is the front. That's the back. This is the. Front. I want to put that on upside down, haven't I? Not that it really matters. That could be the back. No one's going to know the difference. So, oop. Okay, let's see. So, I'm going to carry on doing my lid. Um, what have we got oh. Um, now I have got this really big sort of like plaque. Um, which I can, I'll paint anyway. Um, but I was thinking of um, 
not maybe not all of it but if I take off um, this bit and this bit because it's, it's a bit big oh, and it's broken there anyway is it broken? Um, I might just snip it with my just there and there so I have just so it's not hanging over because if it's hanging over I'm just going to discard it and um, with my craft knife I'm going to just cut this down Do the same on this side. Um, just be careful and don't uh, cut yourself. I know I could my Tim Holtz one, but I don't know if these on that. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll just get my um let's trim this one up. Just to send that down to make it smooth. So it doesn't look so Oh, I chopped the wrong bit off anyway. Oh, that's okay. I can reuse it. Let me see if I can get this. Ugh. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Yeah. Is that better for me? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. stop for the moment. Um, this will be part one and I will come back with part two. Okay, so see you in a minute. Bye.